In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Finding the Time and a word problem on compound interest. We're asked how long it will take for $4,000 invested to grow to $6,280 at a rate of 4.8% at an annual rate of 4.8% compounded monthly, and we're assuming that no withdrawals are made. And our formula for compound interest is A, or the amount, would equal the principal, P, times 1 plus the rate as a decimal, divided by the number of times it's being compounded per year, raised to the power of that same value, N, times T in years. So, substituting in our values, we know that the final value, A, after some amount of time, is that 6,280 equals P, the initial principal, which was 4,000, times 1 plus the rate. Our rate is 4.8%, and I need to convert that to a decimal as 0 0.048, divided by N, the number of compounds per year. And since it's compounded monthly, our n will be 12. Raise this to n, which is 12, times the number of years. And that's our value that we're trying to solve for. So ultimately, we need to solve this equation for t. And I can start with just some simplification. On the right-hand side, inside the parentheses, we have 1 plus 0 0.048 divided by 12 which simplifies to 1.004 raised to the power of 12t. We'll continue to try to isolate the t by dividing both sides by 4,000. This gives us a 6280 over 4,000 equals 1.004 raised to the 12t. And this is where we will need to introduce logarithms to get our variable out of the exponent. So I can take the log of both sides, and on the left-hand side, I'll just bring this down. But on the right-hand side, I can use the rules of logarithms to bring this exponent down as a coefficient in front of the logarithm. So logs have allowed me to get our t out of the exponent, and we can continue to solve for t by dividing both the left and right hand side by the 12 and the log of 1.004 on both sides, canceling everything on the right except for the t. We can plug this expression into a calculator such as Desmos to get our decimal approximation. You can see that I simplified 6280 divided by 4,000 as just 1.57, since that did not include any rounding. And as we're rounding to the nearest hundredth place, I can see that the following digit is a 6. So the time that we were looking for will be 9.42 years.